welcome to my shop today. Um, we're gonna do a little uh, project here, which might be kind of fun. Uh, let's make a bank. Uh, this I call a gnome pouch bank. Uh, it's all based on a little theory that this gnome uh, is quite the hoarder of coins. And he likes to store them away in case he wants to get a little ice cream cone later on down the road or something. And um, this gnome is going to be our bank. Uh, it's going to be a two-sided gnome with a centerpiece uh, which will hold the coins. And um, rather than making it a difficult bank to get into where you try to put a knife in the crack and everybody get the money out, this is going to just as easily be able to pour it out as you pour it in. Uh, that's why I call it the gnome bank, uh, the gnome pouch bank. He's carrying a pouch on his back, so to speak, which you can't really see, of course. We don't want you to grab his money, of course. Um, we're going to need our gnome. He's going to look like this one here when we're all done. But he's going to be cut from various pieces. We're going to need a body. Then we're going to need a beard, a nose, and a hat. Uh, gnomes are very simple. and uh, You could paint each of these a different color, make them really decorative, or you can leave it plain, whatever you uh, want to end up doing. Um, we're going to make this out of primarily uh, birch plywood. We're going to take the body and cut it out of two pieces of quarter inch birch ply. And this, of course, is um, uh, going to be one for each side of the bank. And then we're going to need his beard. We're going to need two beards too, of course. We're going to need two hats and two noses. And we're going to need a centerpiece, uh, which is going to be cut from another little pattern. Uh, we're going to cut that out of a piece of oak that makes a good sturdy uh, base to drop our coins in. Um, if you like this pattern and you like this project and you want to get this pattern, you can get it from my Etsy store as usual. Just go down below and click on the link and uh, this will pop up and you'll be able to download it to your computer, print it out, and go to work on it. Along with this uh, pattern too, as usual, I'm going to give you a bunch of other free patterns and there'll be miscellaneous type things, maybe signs, maybe little projects, um, which you can use over time. And these extra patterns that I send with my uh, project at the moment um, are very different on each uh, pattern. Uh, you'll get a different set of patterns and you can accumulate these and make yourself quite a collection of patterns in the end. And uh, all of those will be free. These patterns, uh, you'll pay for them of course. Very inexpensive, about $3.50 I think it is. Uh, for the pattern and then you get all these other patterns along with it too. Okay, so let's get started on this one. We should start first of all by doing the body, I think. We'll take these two pieces of birch ply that we've cut and we'll tape them together as we always do when we want to do stack cutting. It's going to be a small bank, mainly just for collecting coins for a period of time and then enjoying the use of them. Maybe you buy yourself a little ice cream cone, candy bar, package of gum, trading cards, makes a good little gift bank for a child. Okay, that's easy enough. As usual, we take our pattern and gob it up with our glue stick. As I mentioned before, glue stick is a good idea to use. You don't have the adhesive floating in the air, getting into your lungs, and it does its job tape it down to um, painter's tape, which you can pick up quite inexpensively, and then just peel the whole shebang off after you're done. All right, so that's going to be our body. For the beard, 
got another set of plywood blanks. And again, we're going to need two of them. So we're going to put these together, cut them at the same time. No sense in making more work for yourself. You don't have to. Alright, that's nice and easy. Same thing with our beard. Good and sticky. Put it down on the board. And we're ready to cut our cap and our nose. good so that they're nice and tight. And we'll put our cap on here along with the nose. We'll be cutting them both out at the same time of course. I don't think we're going to need any uh, internal cuts on any of these. Right there. And then Finally, our it's a nice heavy-duty piece of oak to give us some nice walls. We're done with this. This especially you want to put the tape on because the tape will help lubricate your blade, and you want this thing to cut through here as smoothly as possible. And it's a small cut, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Basically, what we're going to do is get a frame when we're done with this from this pattern. We're going to cut around the inside and the outside, and this is going to be put between our bodies of the uh, gnome, and that's going to be the sack that he's carrying. The sack almost has the same shape as himself. Okay, we're going to start by cutting out the two back bodies of the gnome. We're going to glue everything down on this, so it's got to be good and solid. Um, I'm using a number five reverse tooth blade, as usual. <clears throat> Does a good enough job. Here we go. Okay, uh, the next cut is going to be the nose and the cap, which we're going to be using on top of that body we just cut out. Here we go. beard. Again, same blade. Let's go to work.
Okay, I've got our chunky liner here ready, our pouch, and uh, I've changed the blade, put a new one in because I want it to be nice and sharp to cut through this really hard oak. You can use a lighter wood if you want, but I just thought maybe a oak might be better for a base to hold the coins. But we'll never know until we try it. What we're going to do is we're going to cut out the inside and we'll go around the outside too. So we're going to have a shell here when we're done. So let's go to work. Okay, we've got all our parts cut out here now. <clears throat> got our two bodies, two caps, two noses, and two beards. And we got our framework. Now you notice when I cut this out, it just slides right out of there. And this is all going to be discarded, of course. This is what we want. This is going to be our pouch for our coins. And just to show you tentatively how this works, once the whole thing is pieced together, this will be glued on top like that. And we're going to have a bank center, of course. It will be glued on top of that also. So it fits nicely on there. And we'll have our little bank made up. And we'll have our gnomes on either side. This fits right within the framework there. We don't want it to be right up on the edge. You're going to have a little bit of an overlap there, which is fine. Okay, we're going to peel all these labels off, sand it down a little bit, and we'll start an assembly. Okay, we are ready now to start putting our little bank together. That we got all the parts done. Just be very careful with this. It's it's, it's pretty sturdy, but I mean, if you pull it too far apart, you're probably going to end up breaking something. So you want to keep it as uh, together as possible. Now the idea is to fit this over the back backing of the body. 
and the side pieces should fit in pretty good. I mean, it may be a little bit off, but that's not a problem. You're going to have a little bit of an overhang, too, which is okay. You can live with that. So what we'll do is we'll take some glue here. Put a swatch of it down here on this piece of paper. We don't need a lot of glue here. This, And we'll take a toothpick. Back this off a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Take a toothpick and we'll flip this over just for now. And we'll put some glue all along the edges of this framework. You can see where we're going with this. I got one opening here, that's where it's going to be for the coins, obviously. I don't want to seal that up. Get a generous amount around the edges here. Which is we can. After you got that done, you want to rub it with your finger probably, or if you don't want to get your finger gooey, a little piece of paper or wood or something like that, to get it nice and sticky there. And then, it's just a matter of laying it down atop the backboard. Okay, we'll try to get it as Nicely organized. Try to keep the bottom part level and get all your framed areas in there. Okay, that works pretty good. All right, now we do the same thing with the top part. Taking our glue again and generously painting this. You're going to need a little more glue on this, I think. A little more glue there. Hopefully we can see what we're doing here. <clears throat> Again, all along the edges. Doesn't matter where you start. Start anywhere you like. And a generous amount of glue there. And along the bottom too. Okay, it's looking pretty good. And now we take the other body shape and put it oops wrong way oh that's right there we go put that on top and we're gonna wanna get a piece of flat wood here Make a little table here just to test this down like that. And make sure the, the feet are resting nice and flat on the ground there. And that works very nice. Okay, then we want to take our clamp and we're going to clamp this down. snugly on there and snugly on the other side too make 
sure it's nice and level on the board. And up top we're going to put a clamp also. On that side. And then on the other side, also want to put a clamp. Like that. And of course, we want to do the top too. All right, let's back this off and you can see what a gay little piece we've got here. All right, now we're going to leave those clamps on there for a while, let them dry, <clears throat> let the glue dry, and uh, you can see the hole in the back where your coins are going to go. Now this is primarily a penny bank. Uh, you could put dimes and nickels in there. Probably won't fit a quarter, but you could try it. Um, I'm thinking in terms of pennies mostly. <clears throat> this is what our little gnome would probably want to collect. And when this is all nice and dry, we'll uh, put the finishing touches on it, and we'll see how she ends up looking. Okay, decided to paint the uh, gnome up a little bit. You can paint it any way you want, of course, or you can leave it plain. But I thought I'd try some colors, and we're going to now put this thing together, finally. We're going to need some... Uh, Super glue. We'll take the the hat first, and we'll put some super glue on the back of the hat. We don't need a lot, but just enough to get it settled in. We'll put it down like that. It's going to be a little overhang on the edges, which is fine. Not a problem. Okay, and then we want to put the beard on. That's way it looks like it's going to be this way. Some more glue on the spot. I want to have the shoes showing underneath, which they are. And we'll need a nose right there somewhere. Okay, we'll take one of these black noses. And we can put it right... I'll put it just a little bit above the crack. in the hat and the beard. That makes them look pretty good. Okay, now. Do the other side. Just flip this over. I think the glue will hold in place well enough. You can just turn it over like this. Put a little uh, piece on the bottom there to level it out. And we do the same thing to this side. A little bit of glue on there. top of our frame. A little bit of glue on the back of the white beard. Good. And another nose. Okay, looks pretty good. Seems to be holding. Clean that up a little bit. And that glue will dry nicely. Pull 
holding pretty good. And there we have our bank. Get a side shot of this. There he is. He's all set to go. Now you can put, uh, you can do different colors, of course. Um, and it'll work just as well. You can decorate it any way you like. Uh, you can put your coins in. This is made for pennies, by the way. Doing this backwards, but get on the other side. Okay, this is made for uh, pennies. So we'll put them one, two, and this gnome is going to be able to collect quite a bit of money in the process. Uh, so you can uh, try it yourself if you like. Down below, as I said, you can click on the link down there. It'll take you to my Etsy store. You can pick up this pattern. You'll get a bunch of other patterns along with it too, of course, to add to your pattern collection. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little project, and if you did, click the like button down below. It will help my channel, and if you haven't subscribed, by all means, go ahead and do so. Thank you for watching.